Hello, students. In this session, we will look at the abdominal aorta. The picture shows the abdominal aorta and its major branches. It gives rise to three unpaired ventral branches, celiac trunk, the superior mesenteric artery, and the inferior mesenteric artery. There are also three paired lateral branches supplying the suprarenal glands, kidneys, and gonads. Paired posterolateral lumbar branches supply the abdominal wall. The inferior phrenic artery can also be seen. The abdominal aorta terminates at the level of the right and left common iliac arteries. In the superior part of the right side of the aorta, the median arcuate ligament is also visible. To the right of the aorta lies the inferior vena cava, formed by the union of the right and left common iliac veins. Posterior to these vessels lies the psoas major muscle. The image shows the major blood vessels of the pelvic region. The inferior vena cava is formed by the confluence of the right and left common iliac veins. The abdominal aorta ends by dividing into the right and left common iliac arteries. Each common iliac artery further divides into the internal and external iliac arteries on either side. Between the bifurcation of the aorta and the formation of the inferior vena cava, the median sacral vessels are visible. A lumbar artery can be seen on the left side of the lower part of the abdominal aorta. The ureter crosses over the common iliac vein as well as the internal and external iliac arteries on both sides. The inferior mesenteric artery crosses over the left common iliac vessels. Medial to the inferior mesenteric artery lies a sympathetic trunk. The genitofemoral nerve runs across the psoas major from its medial to lateral aspect on either side. The vas deferens crosses the external iliac vessels in the lower part of the image. Finally, the testicular vessels are seen on the left side of the psoas minor muscle and its tendon.